today I just wanted to share with you guys my 33 week bump date. So I am officially 33 weeks today and um, for those of you that don't know, I um, have a toddler, Reagan, who is 19 months old and I am pregnant with our second baby girl, Scarlett Elizabeth and she will be arriving around Thanksgiving. So I just wanted to do a little 33 week update um, to tell you guys what's been going on and obviously I'd love to have this to be able to look back on um, when I'm not pregnant anymore and just to be able to show her later in life and everything like that. So let's get into it. So I am 33 weeks. Um, I I have been getting tired. I am so tired all the time. Um, I'm still sleeping okay. Uh, I definitely, I can only go, let's see, I can go probably six hours without having to get up in the middle of the night. Um, so that's pretty good. That's, I think that's like awesome for this stage uh, to be able to go that long. But yeah, so I generally get about six, six and a half hours of sleep a night and um, that's like the big chunk. And then, um, yeah and then that's it so i sleep about that much at night um i'm eating everything i've definitely felt a lot hungrier lately and so i have been eating more and just trying to make sure i keep up with my protein and everything like that um i'm just trying to eat about every like i try to eat every two hours two to three hours otherwise i get way too hungry uh so i've been doing that let's see um this pregnancy has definitely been crazy um we have had a lot of different things going on with little scarlet and um a lot of it we're just you know keeping uh personal but um yeah so we have been going to a specialist um to check on things for her and uh this past week yeah this past week we went and we got cleared for almost everything so everything that we were worried about um we are not worried about anymore and um so she's looking good she's looking healthy while we are there uh they gave us her weight and so she weighs four pounds and four ounces of course that was a week ago so i'm thinking she probably weighs about four and a half pounds now probably because uh, you know we're just putting on pounds like crazy right now um and for me let's see oh yeah she's happy she's healthy she looks good her fluids good placenta is good all of that so she is doing great in there she is super active she's always moving um she uh, rarely is quiet and on those days that she is quiet i'm like oh my goodness what is going on <laughs> but then generally the next day like she'll have a quiet day and then like the next day she's like absolutely crazy again so um yeah she is very very active um she is head down which is super exciting because for my first daughter reagan she was a breech baby um we found out at 36 weeks that she was breech and so i had to have a c-section for her but um and scarlet was breech for a while but then she finally turned head down so she has been head down since I want to say 28 weeks she's been head down so um yes she is head down she hasn't moved the doctors don't think she's gonna flip so fingers crossed she doesn't flip um i'd love to try for a v-back this time and get to um experience that uh so yep so that's what's going on with that what else is going on with the scarlet um really she's just a bouncing little girl she's active as can be oh my goodness she's active and she's def she's in the like rapid growing stage i think they grow i think babies grow i think it's half a pound a week and uh, mama i put on about a pound a week so that's been yeah that's been pretty steady so i follow the ovia app i don't know if you guys any of you pregnant mamas um use the ovia app at all but um that's the app i've used for both my pregnancies and so i thought i'd just tell you what it's saying for 33 weeks what's going on with baby scarlet um, so it's saying that baby Scarlet is almost at birth height and keeps putting on fat. Her bones are hardening. Um, she's between 17 and 19 inches. Uh, and it says, yeah, they weigh between four to six pounds. And when we went to the doctor, she was weighing four pounds and four ounces last week. Um, so she is right in there. And then, yep. So it says she's going to be putting on half a pound a week, um, until right before she's born. 
uh, and so that means mama should be putting on about a pound a week. <laughs> Um, and then of course starting to have contractions. She was kicking like crazy um, I, It says for mama mama's having trouble getting around feeling big, which is very true. I feel huge I feel so big all the time um, And it's funny because like if you look in the mirror like like I don't look as big But like when you look down at your stomach, you just feel like you are a whale and I just I feel like well I feel huge I just am like oh my goodness but um yeah so mama I'm doing good and baby Scarlett's doing good um we are happy we're healthy everything is looking pretty good for her right now um like I said you know everything that we were worried about most everything has been cleared praise Jesus um most things have been cleared we still have like one or two things we gotta keep an eye on um as she arrives but um yeah but she is doing good she is happy she is healthy i'm happy i'm healthy i am just i'm done i'm tired of being pregnant <laughs> i've hit that point in pregnancy where i am just like checked out and just like okay baby girl i am ready for you to come so come on out but um definitely like she needs to cook a little longer of course and um yeah i mean she really needs to get to like 36 37 weeks and then like girlfriend you can come on out if you want to after that but um yeah so we're going good i'm actually in her nursery right now this is her chair and her little blanket that we'll probably take with us to the hospital it says um it says sweet dreams and has little like feathers on it and um her room i am slowly pulling together um i definitely want to do like what's in my hospital bag and what's in her hospital bag so i will try and film that for you guys soon um because i know i love watching those um especially when i was a first time mom but even as a second time mom it's um really fun to watch so i will try and film those for you guys before she comes and um yeah we're just getting everything ready we are i'm nesting i'm definitely nesting like the house needs clean like the baseboards like everything needs cleaned and i am definitely just like okay everything needs to get in order everything needs clean like i need everything like in a row for her to be here um i pulled her bottles out uh i have i need to still sanitize her bottles i because we're just using ones from reagan um i've sanitized her pacifiers I've sanitized um, all my breastfeeding stuff, so I just need to sanitize some bottles, and um, her clothes are all washed. Uh, I did that a little bit ago, so those are all washed and ready to go. Um, yeah, her car seat's in the closet. That's ready to go. Um, so we are ready for this baby. We got wipes, we got diapers. We are good. I just ordered my first little round of um, postpartum essentials um, from Amazon and got those. Um, so I will try and do a little, I will try, I'll show that to you guys when I do my what's in my hospital bag. I'll, um, cause I'll probably take some of that to the hospital with me and show you some of the stuff that I'm gonna use postpartum. Um, of course it's hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be a little bit different this time. Um, I'm really hoping for a VBAC and not another C-section but I know whatever happens happens and that's okay but I'm hoping for a VBAC so um, I will show you what I'm taking but I am sure I will need more if I have a VBAC because um, I'm not trying to get like too much postpartum stuff just because I'm not sure how I'm going to deliver um, for those of you that um, don't know much about C-sections uh, when you have a c-section and then you want to try for a VBAC or a vaginal delivery um, a Vaginal birth after a cesarean You have to be monitored pretty closely for uterine rupture just because you have that scar and everything and um, the internal scar they want to make sure none of that ruptures and um, uh, Everything like that so they want to keep a closer eye on you and um since they are doing that and since I have had a c-section before and since birth is just crazy um, birth is always crazy I am definitely know that you know a c-section is always a possibility it's always one so um, I don't want to get too much stuff until I know exactly what's happening and then as soon as I have a c-section or I have a, a vaginal birth whichever happens then I will be sure to pick up more sulfides um, as I need it and I'll try and share that with you guys too and show you guys what I used after um, I give birth, but 
yeah i will show you guys my little belly well not little big belly i'll show you guys what it looks like and um yeah i hope you enjoyed the update uh, okay so this is what my bump looks like this is what it looks like at 33 weeks that's what i look like that's where we're at the scarlet and then that is my little belly I don't have any stretch marks um, yet, and I didn't have any stretch marks with um, with Reagan. So I honestly, I think it's genetics. I don't think it has anything to do with like. I don't think it matters how much creams and stuff you put on. I really just think it's genetics, um, whether you're gonna get stretch marks or not. So my little belly has popped. It's definitely popped. But yeah, that is my belly at 33 weeks. So she is doing good doing very good but yeah that's all for today i uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh getting to know a little bit more about miss scarlet and how our pregnancy is doing but i hope you guys have a great day and i'll talk to y'all soon bye guys